Hello, I recorded this video the other day and didn't put audio with it, so I'm going to try to do it today. I clicked on product information and you can see the uh, app version is the second version they came out with. And I started to back up. And then I thought I'd click that button. And sure enough, the Play Store comes up and it says I'm offline. So I drag down from the top and I turn on Wi Fi. And then try again. And now it shows me that I can update the airware. So I'll look at it a second and read a few things. Then I go back and I click the update button. And sure enough, it starts looking into it. And I skipped that, didn't want that. So we're back to the download screen. And it takes a while. Still spinning. Ah, 1253, so it starts downloading. Now it's installing it. And then I think I click open here. Yep. Takes a bit to load. Now it's starting to load. Okay, and then it tells me that the channel processor firmware needs to be updated, so I click proceed. Hold the button down long enough to start it, because you can't just click on it, you have to hold it for a bit. So now it's, it's updating this firmware, and it takes a while. You can see the fuel gauge going across. I notice the version is 3.02.47. You'll see that in a minute when we go back to the product uh, information screen, whatever it was. Takes a little while. I have my 
iX14 connected to my PC using a USB cable and I have USB debugging turned on where I can use um, an app called Screen Copy that will display the screen on my iX14 on my computer screen and I can use my mouse and keyboard to control the transmitter and type in uh, values and okay so it's updated so we have to quit and restart airware so we click on the task manager the square button and we drag that up off the screen and we drag that up off the screen and now nothing is running and I click on the airware icon and now it's loading and there we go so it's up and running go to product information and now you can see that it's version 1.02.11 so airware is updated and the firmware is 302.47 which I didn't point at alright I click the button again and you see it goes back to the uh, airware update so I scroll it down and read a few things here just to see what's there and there are the reviews for it that was the uh, first version the guy was complaining about where you'd put it to sleep and it would corrupt your model that was active the uh, first update fixed that So, back out of it, and I didn't pull the screen down from the top and disable Wi-Fi. I leave my Wi-Fi disabled, 